and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, I'm Katie. I'm Dean. And we're in Birmingham. If you've been... Coming at you from the Ibis. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you... Oh gosh, I'm losing my voice. All the screaming yesterday. If you've been following along over the last couple of weeks, you will put some context into that. Yeah, <laughs> you will see that we have been on a UK staycation on a little bit of a tour, really. Um, Our first holiday of the year. Uh of the year. Yeah it is, yeah. So we started off in Wigston as an overnight stop and then we spent a night in Alton Towers, spent two days on all of the rides, having an amazing time. Um, we will make sure that those videos are linked if you haven't seen them. But then last night we came into Birmingham. We had a bit of a date night last night, we didn't take the camera with us, we went for an amazing meal in The Botanist. Yeah we had hanging kebabs. And really cocktails. Nice. We didn't eat too much, which was nice. Normally when we go out for meals, one of us, yeah. normally me, eats too much <laughs> and then regrets it for about two hours after we've oh, arms so full. I think the amount of food that we've eaten. But, we're, um, but we did that and we played mini golf and now it's the following morning. We've got an exciting... I'm not over mini golf. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, we have got a really exciting morning into the afternoon planned. We are about to, surprise, surprise, go out and get some breakfast. We think we're gonna try a um, place called the Boston Tea Party. So if anyone else watches Charlotte Ruff, I messaged her because she's from Birmingham and asked her a load of places um, that she recommended that we go and this one was like near the top of her list. So it's about a 10, 15 minute walk from our hotel but that's quite nice, the weather's nice. Yeah, We've got time. Out. Shorts are on. Yeah, we've we've woken up early, it's just after nine. Um, we don't have to leave here until just after eleven to get to Cabri World. So that is the plan for the day. We're gonna take you with us for the final instalment of our mini break. Um, but don't worry, there's another staycation to come in a couple of weeks. Or probably next week for you guys for the way that this is all gonna be scheduled. And it's taking an overseas staycation. Just <laughs> Technically, <laughs> but watch this face. But for now, we've got to go get our eat on. Mm -hmm. So we have got to the Boston Tea Party. It's very slightly outside of the main like city centre, I think. But you have to walk past Primark to get here. <laughs> so uh, we're obviously going to go take a look. We haven't got time to try the Disney Cafe, which I am a little bit sad about actually. But we're going to go in, have a look at this little section, and I'm sure I read somewhere that they've got like a Harry Potter store now, so we're going to go check them out. Primark. The things he does for me. Um, but we have arrived, it's walking, you can't look here, um, and everything is done via an app, so you have to um, scan the barcode and order, create an account, and then they bring it all over to you. Um, the food here looks amazing, the drinks look amazing. I'm getting a little bit peckish, so I'm excited. Yeah, I'm what did we go for? What did we go for? We went for a sweet and hash each. I had bacon for lunch, obviously, because we wanted to have veggie breakfast. <laughs> and then I went for a milkshake, and you got a peach melba. Yeah, smoothie, not cocktail. It's too early. Is a peach melba cocktail? I don't know. I thought peach melba was a cake. I don't know. <laughs> Leave a comment below. Cocktail or cake? <laughs> Bad vlogger. I started before I showed you. I didn't but, start. Oh, you haven't started yours? I oh my start. goodness. I didn't start. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. It tastes funny as well. Not like trying. <laughs> you ready for it? Oh yeah. Oh. It's a good post egg. That's beautiful. Beautiful. We have arrived. At Welcome Cadbury Factory. To the wonderful world of Cadbury. <laughs> Indeed. Um, it's about 15 minutes or so from the centre of Birmingham. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, oh, it's very windy here. Our time to tour is half past 11 and it's bang on half 11 now. We're a couple of minutes probably later than we wanted to be. But that's got, just us. We got caught every red light going, didn't we? We did, we did. Um, but hopefully it'll be pretty relaxed, but it's very exciting. I haven't been here for years. And I've never been here. So, something new. But we don't know how much we're gonna be able to film inside, if at all. So uh, this could be a short vlog, this could be a longer vlog. We shall see, but we'll definitely show you the bits that we can. We're in. <laughs> I didn't know if you were already recording it, all the fun comes up. We're in. Oh, we've got the map. We've got a map. Love a map. Um, we, 
it's based on timed entry, so prepaid e-tickets with the barcode, so I got that sent to my phone. The 11.30 queue is already here, so that's us. We're going in, you are allowed to take photos and everything while we're around, so hopefully there'll be some interesting things that we can show you. I've just spotted the shop over here. I mean, you could like, take a sneak peek in. <laughs> I'm so excited about the shop. But the Cadbury Cafe is closed, which is a shame, other than for afternoon teas during the week, which have to be pre booked. But there is like an outside area. Yeah, the cab Cadbury Cabin. So we'll have to stop over there. Got a play area. Need something chocolate. 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 We love this place already. So you can get one of these bags for a pound and then one of these tote bags for two pounds. But we have got six chocolate bars in here. Yeah, so basically you buy this for two pounds, you get three for a couple of bars, you get the same three for the little bag for a pound. are separated and the whole eggs are placed on trays before being passed oh, I make mine. <laughs> the foil wrapping machines wrap each egg individually in distinctive foil there is a massive play area and a shop and this must be the cabin where you can get um, snacks and things from our as well and on the screen there's ping pong gosh that's cool and there's a supporting chocolate drink too Oh, excellent. This is so exciting. We're now in the um, like hands-on experience. I actually didn't think that this would be on because of COVID, but it seems like um, it is, and you just go into individual areas and you can have a go at writing. Um, well, none of the chocolate in here you're allowed to eat, which is such a shame because it smells so good. But yeah, you get to have a go at writing. This is actually really cool. Uh, this is Katie's attempt. <laughs> this is my mess. <laughs> Where's the little triangle going on? Is that where it looks like? Yeah, yeah. Looking at the play button. <laughs> Yeah, that was much better than mine. <laughs> I've run out of table. <laughs> you did. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was really good fun actually. We got to, oh and our artwork has just been straight and quiet. But yeah, <laughs> that was really good fun actually. Um, they've also got like um, and cleaning points, which is good. Do not eat the chocolate. It's recycled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically this robot. I'll put it back into a pot. Really? But that was really good fun. Oh, oh, they've even got a bottle filling station. Oh, look, and it shows you've helped eliminate waste. Yeah. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel. Is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. Oh, oh, I just wanna love you, right? Just behind us here is the green screen area, so you can choose different photos that you want to have done. So we had us on the crunchy roller coaster. <laughs> Friday feeling, and that's Saturday, but it's close enough. <laughs> I've just been to Orton Towers, so it sort of felt right. Um, you can take your mask off the photo, which is great. There's loads of different ones to choose from. We could go surfing on a chocolate bar or yeah, very... on milk. Yeah, so um, take, I'm... Take a bath in like Whisper. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like. We've just got the little code, so uh, when we go into the shop or somewhere, I think, further down, we can uh, take a look at them. We might go, ooh, don't like them. <laughs> yeah, or it might be really cool. <laughs> so uh, if it is, that could be quite a good little souvenir yeah, to get. I think it definitely will be. Oh, there's also face painting. It's not on at the moment, but uh, that could be due to COVID. But there is a face painting area as well. There's so oh, much. Is, is, is yeah, although Alton Towers was doing face painting. But outside. Yes, this is very true. We're about to go on the ride. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called. Cadabra. Is that not the ride? Sorry, there's 
a ride in a Cadbury factory. This place is so crazy. Where are we? Yeah. Number eight. So we've still got all of this to Oh wait, no. We've done chocolate making. No, have a go is what we were doing. Oh. Ooh. Is there more chocolate making? Really? And then that's the 4D thing. I'm looking forward to that. And then African Adventures the place set outside. They will help you enjoy the Cadbury magic. chocolate and marshmallows. What do you think? I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> it's a cup of dreams. <laughs> Just give me a moment with my, my little chocolate pot of joy. These are bespoke chocolate making, so they've got shoes, they've just got little plaques, and there's a foot oh there's a teapot there, and I think there's a football somewhere too. And this lady's just making them. I want some chuckle beans. <laughs> oh look at them. No but it's me and you. <laughs> teapot teapot's so cold. <laughs> The size of the ah, oh, excellent. Yeah, anyone wants any ideas? Yeah. <laughs> These are so cool. Now this is one of my favourite tunes. That did that yellow. Green.
Say hi, bud. Oh. oh, and we end up in the shop. Um, that was so good. We spent two hours in there. We didn't rush, like, we read through a load of bits and pieces. It says it usually takes about an hour and a half. A half. Minutes, it says. Yeah, but it's not because we got stuck in queues or anything, it's just we really took our time. But we're now in the cabbage shop and I'm so excited. Oh, look, they do a little teddy bear. Oh, I like these. <laughs> They're really cool. Well, you know who else would like that? Dig bear. Yeah. Yeah. I got the monkey. Oh yeah, look, you can get a little one. <laughs> I do like those cushions. Oh, you can. The prices in there, there was um we didn't really film in there because we didn't know if we were allowed to, but there was like a factory outlet bit. That was dangerous, wasn't it? I mean, we bought six, thank you, we bought 60 Freddos for £9. So the worked, out, worked out like 15 p a Freddo. Yeah, and they're 25 so I mean, it was saving money. Um, but what we're going to do is they're going to start to be like our little treat, aren't they? So it's, it's portion controlling on the snacks. <laughs> uh, we also got a little free gift, didn't we, actually? Yeah, we have to, isn't this so cute? Oh, this is Freddo. <laughs> He's coming home with us. <laughs> I must say, I've been really impressed with the customer service here. Yeah. Everyone has been really friendly, really helpful. Very impressed. I um, think everyone really enjoys their job. I can't really yeah. blame them because yeah, the whole place smells like chocolate. It's amazing. I know, it does good things for you. Uh, that's not the end of our day here, though. Um, there is a 4D cinema experience that we're going to go and do now as part of our ticket. And then go down to the cabin. Yes, Just grab a little, there. grab a little snack. Uh, have a little look around down there. I think it's mainly a play area, oh, so we'll show you. Yeah, we'll show you the bits and pieces that we can, and then it'll be time to hit the road and go home. Boo. Boo. But it's only Saturday. I thought it was Sunday. It feels so good that it's only Saturday. Reliving our youth. Actually, I've not stopped my being years. <laughs> so, so good. This is actually a really good area, isn't it? So you've got here. It's a Freddo Circus. You've got the Bourneville experience behind, loads of seating. Yeah, it's only because we saw some people walking out. This is the queue for the 4D experience. It's currently saying that it's about 40 minutes. So I'm... Yeah, so I think we might skip out on that one. So there's loads of play areas. There's a really nice cafe that does do hot food, but it also... And I think in normal time you can play table tennis. Yeah. Oh, it was like that. I thought it was a. Um, oh, it was a good sound. Yeah. It must not have it. That's all right. I like that. Um, so, yeah, you've gone for a toga, and I've never seen a toga in ice cream before. Oh. Um, there is another shop, so may have a little look in there. They could have different merch, you never know. Uh, but, yeah, loads of players for kids. It's really nice down here, actually. It's just a good added experience. Like, this wasn't here. I swear half of it wasn't here when I came before. Like, it's such years and years ago. Um, I think, I don't think we said how much it costs to get in, it's £19 I think each to get in, which seems quite expensive, but actually the amount that you get involved, like included with it, I think it's good value, like yeah, it's easy to spend. I think, and you get free chocolate. Yeah, that's true. I think you could easily spend a good four or five hours here, especially if it's a nice day and you've got kids. Yeah, like, this outside area is really nice. Yeah. Cross the verdict. Really nice what I did the top a bit with my important camera, which I'm not overly impressed with. We've come in to see the Freddo Circus with the only couple. <laughs> <laughs> Without children in that show, but 
That was actually really cute. Yeah, like, I think kids would love it. Yeah, I think they really would. So, uh, I would definitely recommend. Uh, what we were told also is that there's meet and greets with the characters. Um, so again, there's just so much to do. We've also seen someone wandering around doing magic tricks. Oh, did, I did not see that. Yeah, I saw someone over here doing some magic tricks. There's um, table tennis. Literally, on a nice day, you could spend a good few hours here. Um, okay, we're going to go and do the Bournemouth experience now, just to see what that is. And then maybe have a very quick look in the shop over here, see if there's different merch. And then we probably need to hit the road because we're about two and three quarter hours away from home. Yeah, then we're far away in Wigston, so uh, yeah. and we, we, drive back. we have a puppy to go pick up. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> oh yeah, him. <laughs> Are done for the day I mean we easily could have spent like another hour we didn't end up doing the 4d experience because the queue was quite long yeah it was 40 minutes wasn't it I mean we could have waited and it like, was coming down every now and again but yeah we just want to hit the road because it's two and a half hours home yes so um, our advice would be definitely get here early we had a half 11 ticket but it had been open a couple of hours before that so I guess either come really early so that that area down there is quieter but then also saying that some things don't open till the afternoon. So I suppose it swings yeah. and roundabouts. Yeah. Um, we still managed to say see some of the shows. I mean, you and potentially could do that area first. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything stopping you no, from I don't doing think, that. I think there was a sign that said to, like, Cadbury World Experience, like, turn you up. So I think you can come there first and then go back that way. Probably best to check that though, because yeah. we did have a timed entry into yeah, there I, first. Yeah, I, I mean, you could do that before your timed entry. Yeah. That's very true actually. Um, so we are gonna call it a day for this trip. Um, we've got a few vlogs that have come from it. So if you're still here at the end of our mini series, thank you so much for watching. Please hit like if you enjoyed. And subscribe for future <laughs> content. Um, yeah, because coming up next, which could be in the next few days or it could be a week or so later, depending on the schedule, um, is our Isle of Wight vlogs. So join us for our staycations. And you know, really fine that wind, yeah. <laughs> um, we will see you again next time. Bye. Bye.